Hello, my name is Terry Bradshaw, Research Specialist for Fruit Projects at the University of Vermont. In this presentation, I will discuss horticultural aspects and opportunities in the two organic orchards described in Dr. Burkett's Introduction to the Organica Project. This material was originally presented by my colleague, Elena Garcia, from the University of Arkansas at the 2011 New England Tree Fruit Meetings in Manchester, New Hampshire. This talk is divided into three parts. So please click through and continue to all parts. Apple production is a significant and historic industry in New England. From the homestead to commercial orchards, apples have always been an integral part of the agricultural economy. Apples are considered a high value crop because of the higher revenues this crop may bring to farmers. And one of the outstanding characteristics of apples is that they are suited to multiple markets, including on-farm sales, farmers markets, local, retail, and wholesale markets. Organic production is the fastest growing agricultural market in the United States. Reasons for this include higher consumer demand for organic produce, higher prices received by growers, health concerns from the public and from farmers, reduced labor exposure to pesticides. However, Growing apples organically presents several challenges, including horticultural challenges, such as weed, nutrient, and crop management, as well as pest management challenges from insects and diseases. Growers interested in starting an organic orchard must evaluate many options when planning the planting. These include selecting a suitable site, performing necessary pre-planting preparations, and selecting cultivars and rootstocks that are regionally adapted, have resistance to pests, and provide fruit acceptable for the intended market. The Organica Orchards, established in South Burlington, Vermont in 2006, represent two different methods that a grower may use to establish a new planting. Orchard 1 was planted from new nursery stock trees planted at a relatively high density of 580 trees per acre on a trellised vertical axe system. This was a new planting placed in properly prepared ground. Weed control is managed through mulching or cultivation, and the trees are grafted onto dwarfing bud nine rootstock, except for one cultivar with low vigor, which was grafted onto mauling 26. Orchard two is an orchard that was top grafted onto 18 year old mauling 26 freestanding semi dwarf trees. The original tree cultivar was Liberty and Macintosh, and to this the same five cultivars that were planted in Orchard 1 were grafted in Orchard 2. Ground cover management in Orchard 2 includes a mowed sod tree. The top grafting operation in Orchard 2 was conducted in 2006, the same season that Orchard 1 was planted with new nursery trees. A local grower who specializes in top grafting trees assisted us with the project. From 2006 through 2008, the orchard establishment phase was completed. During these three years, the tree canopies were established and minimal fruit crop was harvested from the orchards. Beginning in 2009, the trees began to produce fruit and were assessed for total yield and fruit quality. Apple cultivars in the two orchards were chosen based on input from commercial Vermont growers who identified cultivars important to the future of their industry. Cultivars select, selected include the relatively new cultivars Ginger Gold, Honeycrisp, and Zestar, as well as McCowan, an older cultivar which has a premium market in the region. Liberty, a cultivar which is genetically resistant to apple scab, was selected to assess its performance under organic management since it has some market in retail orchards in Vermont and is the best known of the available scab resistant cultivars. I'd like to note that in Orchard 1, Honeycrisp, which is known to have relatively lower vigor than the other cultivars, was planted on the semi-dwarf rootstock, Mauling 26. All other trees were planted on the dwarfing rootstock, Budagovsky 9. Reduced tree vigor and fruit yield are frequent challenges experienced in organic apple production. To address these issues, organic farmers commonly use natural biostimulants in their fertility program to supplement mineral nutrition. In response to poor tree growth on many cultivars in Orchard 1 during the establishment years, 
a separate nested study was completed during 2009 and 2010. In this study, two biostimulant materials e extracted from the kelp, Ascophyllum nodosum, were assessed for their effects on tree growth, crop yield, and fruit quality. These two materials, Stimplex and C Crop 16, are commercially available and marketed as general growth stimulants for use in organic crop production. During this study, very few significant differences were found between the tested materials and the non-treated controls. In only a few instances will we address these differences in this presentation. After three seasons of data collection, we can assess the performance of these five cultivars under organic management in the two orchard systems. The growing seasons of 2009, 2010, and 2011 had very different weather and thus performance was evaluated under diverse growing conditions. 2009 was cool and very wet, with delayed bloom and ripen ripening periods. In 2010, an early spring advanced bloom and frost was experienced during and soon after the blossom period in spring. After that difficult spring, the rest of the season offered good growing conditions with some periods of summer heat, but adequate rainfall and good ripening conditions at harvest. 2011 started out extremely wet and cool with localized flooding in the area, followed by summer drought and then another period of record precipitation in late summer and early fall. This concludes the first introductory part of this presentation. Please continue on to, to part two where I will discuss our results from Orchard One.